Hello, my dear viewers and listeners. I hope each and everybody out there having good health and doing great. Today, in this video, I shall be explaining one of the very important chapter of physics, which is work, power, and energy. And this video is only about work because I'm thinking to upload this uh, chapter on some video series so that the video duration would be like 15 to 20 minutes in between them and then it's much easier for you to understand the concept because uh, in this chapter the main three things will be discussed but actually there are four things because when you study about work and then power and then energy based on the energy we need to explain about uh, potential energy and also the kinetic energy and last of the part of this chapter is all about the efficiency uh, so actually four topic we need to cover in this chapter so in this video I shall only talk about work because in our daily life we randomly use this word work but in physics there are some much calculations for defining work I've written the definition of work into bigger aspect but truly speaking this is the definition of work at first uh, I want to uh, give you some understanding of work that if you think that expressing work by W would be W would be the force times the displacement we know it well because this is the, actually the definition we will go through it how this thing will happen but but at first at first we need to understand how this force and displacement will be counted when we will think about the power power like this one so power is expressed by p and the definition of power is simply work done work done by unit time so when we divide work divided by time then we have the power and very shortly speaking is the definition of energy's capacity of doing work is called energy so as with this video i shall only talk about work so see the definition of work is it's slightly bigger but truly speaking the product of the force we have this one so in my previous classes i already explained what is force is and of course in the previous class of the force is about speed velocity and acceleration that means motion we know about what is displacement so the product of the force number one the product of the force and and this is important the component of the displacement so there is only not written the productions the product of the product of force and displacement is work that is partially true but the main thing is to understand the component of the displacement of the point of application so there is three things there is three point that we need to consider to understand the work that the product of force and the component of the displacement of the point of application of the force along the direction along the direction of the force is called work so if we define again that the product of force and the component of the displacement of the point of application of the force along the direction of the force is called work though it uh, looks bigger but the main thing is suppose there is a point A and there is a force applied on this point F. So if there is a force applied on this point and it moves from here to here point B and if we say that towards, towards along the direction of the force, along the direction of the force, it passes to or it traverse the X amount of distance the x amount of distance along so here is the displacement as because it's it's definitely having a direction so if it crosses through this x then the amount of work done is w is equal to the product of f into x 
But if, but if this is very, uh, very normal to understand that we are applying a force on a point and then it moving along the direction of the force and it travels the x amount of distance, then the work would be the f into x. But if, but if, if there is a point A and there is a point A and from this point, from this point, f amount of force applied towards this point, but but it goes through here. So this is A, it goes through C, having the displacement of S, and then this is the direction, this is the direction, but the point of directions is towards A to B, but it went through A to C, having an angle of theta. If this is the scenario, then we need to draw a perpendicular from C, from C to AB, from C to AB. So when we draw a perpendicular, we will have another point is called D. That is important because when we apply a force towards A to B, it was never going through A to B, it was going to A to C, having creation an angle of theta. If this is the scenario, we need to draw a perpendicular upon AB and we will have this amount of displacement here, which is x. It was supposed to be in this direction, but it was not because it went through having 3 theta angle towards C. So after drawing a perpendicular, we got a distance here, which is x. And that is why we need to consider the component of the displacement. So the component of the displacement would be in this triangle, right angle triangle, if I say that in the right angle triangle ABD, we have theta angle. So we have, if it is a right angle triangle, this is a hypotenuse and this is the base and this is the perpendicular. So we have the value of S and X. We don't have the measurement of CD. We have the measurement of AD and SC. So if you have the amount of base and hypotenuse, then we can consider based on the geometry that this theta is actually cos theta. If it is cos theta, then it will be base by hypotenuse. Base by hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Then it would be the base is AD. The base is AD and the hypotenuse is AC. AC. So it is actually the cos theta. It means AD is actually X and AC is actually the S. So we can say that x is equal to s times cos theta. So it would be the product of s cos theta. So it would be like x is equal to s cos theta. And then we got, we got the component of the displacement. That is why I wrote the definition of work in this way to understand that this x is actually s cos theta when when the uh, the force of uh, the point of application of the force won't follow the displacement when it will create an angle then we need to consider this like that and then the force I mean the work the work would be f and now this is the x so it would be f s cos theta so here we got two equation two equation number one is w equals to fx when when the point of application of force will be followed by the displacement so in the linear cases that when it follows the direction and passes through the x and travels x amount of distance simply what would be fx but if it creates this side of scenario having an angle of theta then it will be cos theta as because cos theta based on the geometry and you know that in geometry we have the sin theta cos theta and tan theta measurement so cos theta it will be the base by hypotenuse in case of right angle triangle so as it is a right angle triangle as it is a perpendicular there will be the 90 degree cases and the longest the the longest hair of the triangle is the hypotenuse so it will be like that so now in case of 
the unit and dimension so this is important okay so as we say that work 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 is the force force times displacement so we know that in a, a understanding of the unit of work is unit of work is force is actually Newton the unit of force is Newton and the displacement is about meter so if we if we do this the Newton times m is actually joule so the unit of work is joule so if we define that 20 25 joule what will I get 25 joule so we have the Newton times meter so you can say that 25 Newton times 1 meter or even 1 Newton times 25 meter or even we can have 5 Newton times 5 meter in all cases the multiply process all cases the result will be 25 as we know that the unit of work is joule so the joule is equal to Newton times meter so if I say what is the definition of joule 25 joule we can say that if 25 Newton is applied 20, 25 Newton force is applied to anybody or any point and if it crosses one meter displacement it is one meter distance towards the direction of force then the amount of work is 25 joule if it is asked that what is about the 50 joule then we can say that if 50 newton force is applied to any point and if it goes to one meter distance then the amount of work done is 25 50 joule so in this case 25 joule is about 5 newton into 5 meter so we can say that if 5 newton force applied to anybody or any object or any point and then it travels 5 meter towards the direction of the application of force then the work done is 25 joule so in all cases in all cases this would be 25 joule okay and then so you know that unit of work is joule and then the most important thing is dimension so what about the dimension of work so the dimension if we find the dimension is as we know that w is equal f into s in case of displacement so we know that the dimension of f is force i mean force is m l t inverse 2 m l t inverse 2 times as s is actually the length and this is l so if among, among you those are watching right now this video if you have a little bit understanding of this one that how the force is going to be ml2 inverse 2 i have uploaded a video on dimension so in my playlist there is an ssc physics o level playlist there is a video uh, on dimension how this dimension is measured so from that corner i didn't reply the explanation of f but f actually what f is actually uh, in case of f is actually the mass product of mass and acceleration as mass is m acceleration is lt inverse 2 so from that point the dimension of force will be mlt inverse 2 so if we multiply mlt inverse 2 into l then it will be m l square t inverse 2 so this is the dimension of work this is the unit of work this is the equation of work and this is the definition of work so those who are watching this video please uh, uh, try to understand the work concept clearly because uh, those students right now in English version you know that physics is a lovely subject when you understand the concept clearly and it will give you a blessing feeling inside when you understand each and every concept and you can solve the mathematical problems even in your question paper so towards on that uh, target that we are moving to solve every single uh, questions in the question paper from SSC level and O level students 
I hope this concept will definitely help you. So if you see the definition of uh, work, the product of the force and the component of the displacement of the point of application of the force along the direction of force is called work. So we can have that W equals to Fx and of course in case of angle creation it would be W equal to Fs cos theta and we have the unit of work is joule and dimension is ML square T inverse 2. And in case of x cos theta, you must know when it would be x cos theta because there is a creation of angle. So, in this video, I only explain about work, and next video, I shall be explaining about power, and then I shall explain about energy. In terms of that mechanical energy, the most important, which is very common in question paper, is potential energy and kinetic energy. And then, after the last part of the chapter, is efficiency. So see you on regular basis so I shall be uploading these things next up and keep watching this video and please do let me know what is the requirement. I shall try my level best to upload these videos based on your recommendations. See you. Take care. Bye.